Hey there everyone, this is Shivani with Go Engineer. In this video, we're going to see how to export transient thermal results into a static study so that I can see how every thermal step affects the stress. Now, I already have a pretty standard thermal analysis set up here. It's transient, so I go to my properties. I'll see my total time and my time increment. The thermal step is thus 10, which I'm going to need to remember later. Now, if I was just exporting using a normal thermal study, I'd be going to my static. I would go create some sort of fixture as a boundary condition. So I'll do that really quick, fix the bottom face. And now I want to import one of those thermal loads. Now, I'll do that by right-clicking the static study, going to Properties, Third tab, Temperatures, reference that particular thermal study, and now, because it was a transient analysis, I have to pick a time step. There's no checkbox for every time step. I only have a choice to pick one of them. After doing that, I get a little thermal dropdown underneath my external loads folder. Then I can run my analysis and I will see how the thermal loads affect my stress. I can see it's expanded a little. That deformation scale is 130. It's a little bit large. I'll put this back to true scale. Okay, now at this point I'm stuck thinking do I need to make 10 static studies to see every single step or do I need to go into my properties and change it for every single one and end up losing my previous results just trying to memorize them somehow. So this is where we use the technique of using a design study instead. So I'll come down, I'll pick design study, click OK. I've got a couple choices here, variables, constraints, and goals. If I look at my variables, I have nothing set up yet, but this is going to end up referencing my thermal step. So I'm going to go back to my static study, right click here, go to properties, and then here I'll right click in my time step, go to link values, and this is where my parameters variables box shows up. Edit define, I'm going to name this uh, thermal step and my category needs to be simulation because I'm using this in a simulation analysis and for value I'm picking one that means I'm picking the first thermal step, the first time step. Click OK make sure I pick this, you uh, missed it, make sure I pick this variable and now if you look in that time step box it's gray which means it's linked back to that parameter. So OK, back to my design study Go into Variables, pick that parameter I set up. I'm going to choose Range with Step instead of the others. Set it to start at the first time step, end at the last time step, 10, and increment by 1, going up one at a time. Let me turn off Optimization so I don't have any goals to deal with. And then I'm going to add a constraint. And for this sensor, I want to reference some stress points randomly on my microchip. I don't really care where. So I'm going to be picking um, an endpoint here on one of the microchips. Okay. Now, instead of choosing is greater than whatever, I'm going to choose monitor only. That's the one you're going to want to do if you're not optimizing. You'll see that I'll reference the static one analysis, and then I can click run. Now as this goes through and runs those scenarios, it's exporting that thermal step into the static study, running that study, and then continuing on. So it's taking away the whole manual process and made it automatic for you. You can also see that my design study quality is high, that way it is truly running the static test 10 times in a row and not doing interpolations. Now what I could do at this point is double click one of those scenarios, then go to my static one tab, and view those results, or double click one of these here, right click my results in graphs, and then go to define De design history graph. Now what I can do here is plot the sensor throughout all those time steps and see how that stress changes. This has been Shivani with Go Engineer. This has been how to export thermal results from a transient analysis into a static test. Mm -hmm. 